also earlier in the day, uh, the, the producer of this show and behind the camera said we're going to meet a Somalian later on, so you Somalian. can talk about the wine. I, I said, am not from Somalia. <laughs> I was going to say, but that's interesting. So, well, he's, so no, we are meeting a sommelier who is, well, why don't you introduce our fine guest? Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Brad Dixon. I'm a sommelier here at Bird Steakhouse in Tampa, Florida. And this has to be one of the greatest jobs in the world. I mean, look at the selection that you have. <laughs> uh, I, I do feel very fortunate to be a part of this. It's, um, I've been here about 12 years, but this is almost 60 years in the making here. And um, you're correct, we probably have as large a selection as anyone. We believe we do. Um, and we probably have, well, just down here in our working cellar, we have anywhere from 90 to 100,000 bottles. But we so have, that's the working cellar yes. has 100,000 bottles. Well, it has less now. <laughs> it's it's going to have a good deal less by the evening. We'll try, we'll try. Um, and we have a warehouse across the street that has at least a half a million bottles in it. So, so they've been Effects collecting of, bottles here since 1956? Uh, approximately, yes. Bern, um, Bern and his wife Gert moved into this uh, location in 56 and he really started getting serious about collecting wine in, by the late 50s, early 60s. There's a, there's, a, there's a famous quote that he always used to dedicate um, the wine list to his wife Gert. And the one I have memorized is, uh, I dedicate this absurd list to my wife Gert allowed me to buy wine when I should have been buying her a better house, a better car, a better washer dryer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is in fact, she probably can't look at a bottle of wine without seeing the face of one of our bankers. <laughs> um, I think what happened to Terry is that as he was trying to, as he maybe obsessed a little on trying to create the world's greatest steakhouse, he felt that he wanted to have the biggest selection. The biggest collection was not something that was on his mind, but having the greatest selection. And so he would he started uh, traveling to Europe in the summers. If he found a good deal, he bought a lot of it. So you have a lot of wines here that you're not going to find anywhere else in the world. Till recently, and I'd have to go double check, but we had some going dating back to 1785. We still have Madeiras going back to the 1820s that we can do by the glass. We recently uh, ran across some ports from I believe the vintage was 1815. Three of the bottles didn't look so good, but three of them looked healthy. So I look at the cellar walls mm -hmm. and tell us about those. Well, he used old newspaper. He, he didn't like to waste anything. So this is uh, a process that, it, that he came up with. It's basically paper mache, really. Wow. And he figured out a way to, to use it to, to blow in. All our uh, warehouses are insulated with this, and it was, uh, it was free material. He was a do it himself or he did everything himself. Well, he spent the money on the right thing. But well, what is it about wine that makes it so exciting that people start amassing these vast collections or, you know, even, you know, me, I will always have a good collection of wine at home. I know Terry has a terrific collection. But what is it about wine that you think makes it so exciting? Well, what makes it exciting is that there's so many options from so many parts of the world, especially in this day and age, we are eating, you know, our, our what we eat coming from so many different parts of the world. It's like uh, finding the right wine to go with whatever you're making at home or whether you're dining out, uh, to me anyway, and I think to a lot of people. Uh, you know, it's, it's part, of the, part of the fun is finding, finding the right wine to go with the dish.